Alright, final ocean time. One of my favorite levels in the game. We have to come here first in order to do something that's going to help us progress throughout to the end of the game. But first we have to deal with a little spiel from Gaia, once again introducing herself as if we don't know who she is by this point. Uh-oh. Well, that's, that's not nice. Whales never did anything to anybody. Not on purpose, anyway. Alright. Save the whales. The environmental imperative of every age, past and present. So yeah, change of circumstance is going to cause evolution, but we're going to do a little bit more evolving. Let's get onto the next screen so that we can see it happening. Uh, so that we have a bigger field of view, actually. Can I actually... Nope, can't leave from this point. We have about 10,000 Evo points, which you'll notice is more at the beginning of this video than what we had at the end of the last one. I actually did some grinding off camera because we're going to need quite a few Evo points to do this neat little trick. We're going to go to the evolution screen, and you'll see that we can evolve our hands and feet in the water, and we have the chance to try to evolve. There's no kind of success ratio here. It's not like we're going to try to evolve and then fail. If we spend 2,000 points, we're going to evolve. We're going to evolve into this little happy little seal guy thing. He's got 60 hit points. thats I don't think that's quite as many as we had as a rhino lion thing. But now we have body. And now we're going to evolve further and further until we get to the Ne Plus Ultra of underwater evolutions. We're going to turn into a dolphin, and that's going to give us 70 hit points, but not as much jumping power as you think a dolphin should have. Weird, but... Now we're going to go try to evolve even further, and that's going to turn us into kind of a, a goofy little manatee type thing with almost human hands. Not quite, but we got to go one more. I thought we would need 10,000 for this, but it looks like we're only going to need 8,000 Evo points. Oh well, better safe than sorry, but now we are at the ultimate form for the water. We're only going to keep get to keep it for this level, but in the final ocean, you get to be a mermaid. And she makes a little kissy sound whenever she bites things. Maybe you can hear it there, maybe you can, but uh, she makes this little shoop, shoop, da whoop, shoop. <laughs> I could listen to that little sound all day, but we have to get moving. There are a few screens here before we actually get to the cave where the Rogons are located. Not the Seth Rogons, nor the Jonah Hills, but just the, whoa, hey, please a sore. And we can rack up a few more Evo points here if we want, although it's kind of useless because there's literally nothing we can do evolution wise now our only choices do not evolve but it's not it's cool we're not stuck as a mermaid or a human or anything we're just gonna chomp on a few please swords and then move on if we're only gonna eat them now if they happen to get in our way one more screen left before the actual rogon cave and you know we're getting far in the game because look down there in the corner mr karasalachi can't escape by jumping above him at this point i guess we've wandered into antarctic waters but you know you're getting pretty far in a game when you start seeing boss enemies as regular enemies. And yeah, they don't waste any time. And they hurt a little. But it only takes three bites to take them out. And they heal you pretty well and give you lots of Evo points. There are only two of them here. We're just going to confront them directly. Wow. Ooh, hey, uh-uh. Not in the face, not in the face. That was not nice. See, they're pretty easy at this point. They're, they're pushovers. If only we had been able to be a mermaid before. Oh, so here they are. They're like little fish men that bully sharks around. Oh. I look like what? A human? Sort of, I guess. Oh, I can leave at this point. That's weird. But there's no reason to leave. I need to... Woohoo! He is guarding that door. He is ready to fight. I don't know why I decided to leave because we're going to have to listen to this again. You still haven't figured out what I look like, huh? It's right there on the tip of your tongue, but you ain't figured it out yet, have you? This is kind of a little alcove thingy. We want to take the first down path that we can. That's going to take us to a green crystal. Ooh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I don't think so. Let's go ahead and let's get down. Eat some seaweed along the way because mermaids are, of course, vegetarians. Well, except for this one, I guess. She pretty much put my theory to rest. I should think about things before I say them. And if we work our way down to the corner here, I believe we'll find a green crystal eventually, unless I've just up and missed it. 
I think if we cut down here, actually, it's gonna lead us to a dead end. We're gonna be only, yeah, we only go right. And then, pow, green crystal. So if we wanna review evolution, we can do that. But yeah, the Rogons are really easy in mermaid form. You're really fast, you have a really strong bite. You have just as much bite as you would with a rhino and lion mane, where rhino body, lion mane, fierce jaws, all those nice little accoutrements. So we're gonna get right to it. Once we go up here and go to the left, we're gonna face the Rogon King boss, and he is pretty dang easy. You would think we would need the Evo points to evolve, and because most bosses have been pretty tough to this point, but the Rogon King is a pushover. He only has a few little attacks that don't amount to hardly nothing. Oh, hey, I have hit up on a dead end. What is, what is wrong here? Did I... Did I miss a turn somewhere? Let's see. I think I didn't go up far enough. That might be my problem. Uh-uh-uh. You get back here. Everybody dies just the same. Oh, crap. Now I'm stuck inside you. That's not... I don't want you inside me. That's gross. Hey, don't get hit by the gun, because apparently that hurts a lot. Woo, wow. What is my deal? I've run into a dead end. That's kind of unusual. I usually tear through the sea tunnel, actually. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. nice flashy meat. Not that I need the points at this point. They're only going to come in handy once we get back to the surface. Let's just go down, 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 down. I think I'm pretty much as far down as I can get, so I don't understand what the problem is here unless I need to go... Uh, 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 uh. Not the gun, not the gun. Here we go. This is where we need to be. We need to get some of our life points back first, though, and eating just two Rogons ought to be enough to recover. It's pretty hard to lose down here. If you're good at the game by this point, and you're good at attacking enemies, this shouldn't be much of a problem. So now we're going to go up, and we're going to end up getting out of here, right? I don't want to be in here much longer than I have to. There we go. There is the exit. I just forgot to go down at that one part. And there's that boss music again, but this time we're actually going to face a boss. I love the little swaying background here. There he is, the Rogon King. You are the one who helped the whales. Uh-huh. Well, why not? Why can't you just share the water? Nobody in this world, nobody in any era wants to share. That's your problem. Nobody here watched Barney as kids, obviously. And, of course, just like any big bad tyrant, we get to choose whether we agree with them or not. And this one is particularly morbid. I enjoy this one a lot. So, again, we get to watch a little cinema of what happens, and then we get kicked out into the map. So, that was pretty much a waste of evolution. Well, how about that? Looks like we joined up with the right side. Except... Well, I can see how that happened. Maybe if they all evolved into mermaids like me. Nope. That's not quite a fish, buddy. <laughs> nope, sorry. As strong as the Rogons are, they are no match for humankind. And the Rogons get ground down to fish cake and everybody has a delicious meal. And then you just kind of wander and nothing really happens. So I guess we're stuck here once more. We have this little yellow form. So I guess we'll go back in and see what happens. Do we get to keep our mermaid form? Because I couldn't go up from the map at this point. Yep, we're just stuck back here at the beginning. You just have to make our way there again. So actually, I guess evolving into mermaid is very advantageous because it doesn't allow you to leave the level. You just actually go back and I guess they trust you to make the right choice the second time. So... Let's get out of here. Let's make our way back to the Rogon King. And of course, we want to say no next time because saying no and being a good independent evolutionary creature is how you make progress. So let's go back. And of course, now we don't get a say in the matter. We just have to fight without being given the choice since we took yes the first time. Obviously, what else are we going to take? And there is a light. It's kind of like a smart bomb light that he shoots at us. And it's going to blind us and... We won't be able to see in a very... We won't be able to see very far. Our field of vision will be limited, giving him 
Whoa, more opportunities to attack us like that, I suppose. But, if worse comes to worse, just... Oh, crap. Boy, he is doing good here. But he actually doesn't take too many hits to kill if you just corner him and keep him in your field of vision. He's actually a pretty easy boss. I actually got rocked more than usual by him. But we can, of course, heal the full with the meat that we're given, and we're already back up to 10,000 Evo points almost. Now we're going to go visit the whales. Wow, this is a this is a palatial little hot spot. Dolphins, whales, everybody having a just a good old party time. Nice. How do they get who do they get to do the architecture under here? I'm I'm just brimming with questions, but it's time to go visit the whale king. And it sounds from the music like you're about to have to face another boss, and that ominous interest does not help. I find the whale king kind of creepy myself. Getting a little too close for comfort there, Whaley. Boy, they know how to use that crystal, too. They are abusing the shit out of it. Oh, well, I certainly hope so, because if, if I can't, then you guys are screwed. And there's why you have to come to Final Ocean first. We will blow the cloud over the mountain and eat it away using our willpower. Or you could just use your mega breath or whatever. And don't worry, the new body isn't as bad as what you think it is. He's just going to return us to our rhino lion self. Yes, celebratory music and all, but frankly, I'm going to miss being a mermaid. It's all very sad. I wish I could be a mermaid forever. But we have to move on. We have to, uh... Okay, I'm gonna just turn into a... Oh, no, cool. We're right there on the land. Okay, and I've got full life and everything. All right, we need to get out of here. We need to return to the Circle of Stones. And we need to teleport over to the African continent. Because, you know, there's no land bridge now. So we actually have to use, like, magic and stuff. The game is gonna start pulling out all kinds of deus ex machinas. So on we go to the Circle of Stones. And we're gonna face sort of a familiar opponent here. We hear sad music. This is Domain of Ditrima. Is that like a rap name? Is that like Get Rich or Die Trima? Oh, I'm so sorry. I will listen to your story as penance for that awful pun. Oh, kind of a Tower of Babel punish for your hubris type thing. This is why we don't have wings. Well, that just makes you really easy prey. And we're gonna... Well, I don't guess we need to heal up before we go. Oh, monkey human's been hanging out here okay yeah that's really the only problem you can get stuck on them fairly easily they do walk around but they're kind of goofy it is sad though how they just look up in the sky and cry occasionally that's that's actually tragic this game is hit or miss on pulling the hard strings but i think this is actually one of the sadder developments that they've come across so we're gonna go across and you heard the circle of stones hint he they were like where did he go well we'll tell you where he went he went across to africa all you have to do is stand here in the circle, in the middle of the circle, and press the B button. They don't tell you that, you just have to figure it out, so I can see why it would be kind of hard to figure out. But now we can go on up here if we want. We don't have to play this other Circle of Stones level, but if we do, we will get a cameo from a familiar face, and uh, I think it's worth popping in to see what that cameo is all about. Let's just pop in, shall we, and we will witness Queen Bee. You remember her. She's got quite a paint job on her. And she's also been brainwashed. We've heard about this person already. How great the one living in the north is. Wow, somebody sounds really desperate to be relevant again. We can't let you pass here because we are showing our respect for him. Well, that's wonderful, but I'm going to have to kill you. But we're going to go about it a little different. Oh, God, boy, she went first strike hardcore. Okay, and we're going to stay... Well, maybe this isn't working out so hot. We're going to avoid the stingers and then wait for her to come to us. And then we're going to try to keep her on the ground as best as possible. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go ahead and shorten that neck then, I suppose. I'm going to let her come to us for the most part because we don't really have a speed advantage this time. We're just going to dodge the stingers. Easy to do by jumping. And then just bite before she gets the chance. She goes down really easy. And not much in the way of evolution for us there. 
Which way do we exit off the screen? We can, of course, go back to the continent uh, by teleporting through this circle of stones. No, we're going to have to leave the way we came. But just a little appearance from a familiar face. Technically, you don't have to do that level, but it's just a lot of fun, I think, to be able to do it. So let's make our way on up to the next place, which, again, we're going to be facing another boss. Today, I think, has been a little short on... Well, it's still green. What do we what do we do then? Do we have to fight her again if we come here? Nope. I guess we have to teleport with the stones, but huh, I'm not going to worry too much about it. We have places to go. We got to get moving. So we're going to go on up and we're going to face our last boss today. This is going to be the penultimate boss of the game. The Crow Main Man, obviously a blind idiot translation. Oh no, whoops. I am a uh... I am getting ahead of myself. Crow Main Man is coming up next. Oh, really? Boy, everybody is just showing up at Mr. Man's door. Oh, hey. Oh, looks like you got yourself cornered, stupid. So, let's see. Maybe we ought to stretch out our necks. You definitely don't want to drop off. You can drop off here. Okay, yeah, now we've got him coming to us. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That's not good. Woo! Okay, this is, this is looking a little rough. I was not expecting something like this. Maybe we should extend our necks so that we have a chance to bite them before they get to us. Tyrosaurs have never quite been a pushover enemy. They've always been strong. They've always been able to take us out. Never underestimate the ability of the Tyrosaurs to just lay you out. Okay, let's get out of here while we still can. Boy, everybody's lining up at the guy in the north's door. Here we go, just like two feet away. Here's where we're going to find the Crow Main Man. He looks very sad. He's very lonely out here. Well, let's go up and uh, see if we can make a friend out of him. <laughs> it's like that little orphan kid on The Simpsons. I'm cold all the time. Hmm. I'm, I'm the guy coming to... Uh, I'm knocking on the guy in the north's door. We, we gotta see what he's... He's all kinds of messing with the evolutionary process. There are beings on this continent that should be extinct. They should be long dead and gone. Oh, really? Oh, well. I know about having less hair than everybody else. One being in the cave treated me very well. Uh oh, and this is where he gets mad. And uh, we've got quite an opponent here. We have to be careful not to get hit by that giant club because he will home run us out of here and we'll have to start this fight all over again. So let's just try to jump in. Woo! Yeah. He's going to jump in after us. We just need to jump back. Oh, crap. Yeah, see, that hurts. That's not a pretty sight at all. We're going to jump in. We're going to let him... Yikes. I didn't realize he was jumping on me like that. But you basically just need to jump in and bite him. Your, uh, your loincloth is close to revealing a little bit too much information there, Cro-Man. You ought to keep that in check while we fight. Whoa, but you need to jump back when he jumps in at you. I don't want to get cornered here or anything. You do occasionally want to go... Ooh, wow, we almost got knocked out there. It doesn't hurt as much to get jumped on by him or to get touched by him. Ooh, swing and a miss, except for then when he totally, that's the problem with this level. You get knocked out, you have to start all over, it's rough, but uh, we'll come back. Don't worry, we'll come back, we'll, tr we'll, we'll give that another whack, I'm for sure. Do you think I'm actually just going to let you push me around like that, Cromane? No, no way. Oh, talk is cheap, huh? Somebody only tells his story once. Gotta pay to hear it again, I'm sure. All right, dashing is seeming to have some kind of difference. Ah, but you can't just sneak past him. You actually gotta legitimately defeat him, which is proving slightly difficult. He has way more hit points than I seem to remember. Don't reach me. Oh! Just barely missed there. Ah, stare down. Staring contest, you and me, go. Ha ah, ha ha. Okay, I can deal with that, actually. Okay, and I can also deal with you not actually hitting me. How are you supposed to have time to eat the bananas down on the ground? Okay, we're taking this nice and slow. Ooh! Uh, oh, crap. Wow, how did he miss there? That's pretty amazing. Uh, 
You somehow wedged yourself into the wall there, Chromie. It's Chromie. It's Chromie. It's Chromane. Uh oh. Uh oh, I better get out of the way. Okay. I am going to do this, though. Don't you worry. Even if it takes long into the night, I will. I will come out the victor. Hey, 1250. That's not bad. Well, we've got just plenty of Evo points for the upcoming final battle ahead. We are going to wrap up this game tomorrow, and we're going to stop here now that we've defeated Chromane. We can make our way into the cave, but we're going to wait till tomorrow to see what that cave holds. Sun up. Ironically, as the sun comes up, we bid you adieu. So, see you next time.